Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October the 7th of 2019. Well, it is titled IO eclipse shadow on Jupiter from Juno. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image taken by this Juno spacecraft, which is currently in orbit around Jupiter and studying the giant planet, the largest planet in our solar system. And the dark spot in the clouds of Jupiter is not one of its moons and not a feature of Jupiter itself, but is actually the shadow cast by one of mo one of Jupiter's moons. And in fact, this is the shadow cast by Io, which is the innermost moon, large moon of Jupiter, and is similar in size to our own moon but extremely volcanically active. In fact, the most volcanically active object in our solar system. So it is constantly erupting uh, with volcanoes that uh, constantly turn the moon inside out, essentially. Now, like any other solid object, it will cast a shadow. So sunlight streaming from the sun strikes the moon Io, and that blocks the light. So it creates a cone behind it of shadow, much as the way the moon does during a solar eclipse here on the Earth. Our moon will cast a shadow blocking out the sunlight, and that would look something like this as seen from space. So if you look at an eclipse view from space, you can see the shadow of the moon moon moving across the Earth. Here we see the shadow of Io on Jupiter. And were you in the clouds of Jupiter in some kind of craft, and you traveled into that shadow, you would see the sunlight disappear. And that would mean that Io is passing directly in front of the sun and blocking out its light. And that is very similar to what we would see for anything else here, any other object, when a, one object passes between another object and the sun, there is always the chance that that shadow may strike the planet and will then give it an, an eclipse. So eclipses are not something that are unique to the Earth. They can occur on any planet that has a moon around it, some kind of object to uh, block out the sun. It also has to be relatively close to the uh, planet. Another a planet, for example, cannot cause an eclipse on another planet. Even though the Earth casts a shadow out in space, it does not stretch out to Mars, for example. So even if Mars were in the right positioning, the Earth would not block out the sunlight. Its shadow would be not long enough. And in that case, what you would see is a transit. We would see we see transits of Mercury and Venus. Well, from the outer planets, any of the inner planets could appear to transit the sun or pass across its face. So here what we're seeing, though, is the place where we would get to see an eclipse were we in the clouds of Jupiter. And of course, within those clouds themselves, we can see all of the distinct features associated with Jupiter, uh, the alternating light and dark bands within it and swirling storms in Jupiter's atmosphere, which are one of the other things that the Juno spacecraft is currently studying. So that was our picture of the day for October the 7th of 2019. It was titled Io Eclipse Shadow on Jupiter from Juno. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Sprite Lightning in HD. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.